Hi, my name is Giselle. Uh, I'm doing my regular slot here for tips and techniques on how to increase your well-being. Uh, a lot of people I'm speaking to at the moment are finding this time incredibly challenging. I think the dark days are difficult. Uh, a lot of people are feeling very flat, they're feeling very tired and it's a lot of hard work to keep keep positive and keep going. And, you know, the past few months I've been talking about all the tips and techniques that you can do for yourself to help improve how you're feeling. But sometimes we just have to know there's a time in which we have to ask for help. We have to ask either the people we know or go to our GP or there are lots of different organisations that you can speak with. We've got Mind, which is fantastic. There's Shout, which is a texting service, so you're able to get support over your phone. There's the Samaritans who are there to listen. Um, there are lots of different organisations who are there to professionally help you. Um, so today I just wanted to say that one thing about self-care, you know, you've got all the things you're running, you know, doing your exercise, getting good sleep, eating well, doing something you love. But also there's always there can be a time in which the best self-care can be reaching out to someone else for that extra support, for that extra help. And I think as Christmas comes in and then January comes, we might find that those feelings of flatness might become stronger. Maybe you're not, maybe you're not feeling that and that's, that's absolutely fabulous. But for those of you who are, knowing that to ask for help is great. To ask for help is a sign of strength and asking for help can often be a sign of courage to say, do you know what? I can't do it on my own. I need some extra support. So know that that's okay. Know that that can actually take a huge amount of the tiredness and so the burden of having to get through each day. Because I think a lot of people are looking to get through this winter and it would be good if you could get through this winter without just wishing your time away and actually be able to enjoy some of this as well. And if that means getting the support from other people or going to speak to your GP to see what the options could be as well, it just means that it might make these next few months more enjoyable rather than just surviving. So just keep that in mind and know there's no shame in it. A lot of people feel a bit ashamed in asking for help or maybe they might feel that they're failed in some way, that they can't do it all by themselves. You know, as, as human beings, we weren't meant to be doing things for ourselves. We were meant to be sharing. We're meant to be part of a tribe. We're meant to be in bigger groups. And I think with the restrictions that we are experiencing now, our bigger groups, our bigger support network have has shrunk hugely, uh, especially in a you know a direct uh, uh, contact. So have a think about it. Think about uh, the best way for you to be as kind to yourself as possible. And uh, I wish you well.